select item. So when this launched, let me just tell you, it flew. It sold out. I think it was in the very first show that it was in. It has been gone. It came back in stock. We had it in the midnight show yesterday. I did the morning show with Chef. It was sold out. We were able to bring back a few more. It is a huge customer pick. Big, big customer pick as well. And you're like, well, what is that? This is our gravy fat separator and I, I I think it's brilliant I think that's the main thing I can tell you it is absolutely brilliant chef is going to show you exactly how this works how it separates when you're making a, a sausage you whatever how it separates the, the the fat from the liquids nineteen dollars and ninety five cents the best price for this and the capacity what is the capacity it's probably marked on here too isn't it What's the capacity? Oh, the capacity wow. of the gravy separator um, is the perfect amount, Bobby Ray. Yeah. Someone's going to give me that information, but I yeah. think um, I'm it. It's probably about three cups, 34 yeah, ounces. 34 yeah, 34 ounces. Yep. So let Thank me show you. you how it works. First of all, it has that beautiful little. Um, uh, uh, strainer, you've thrown me, Bobby, right? Okay, there's the strainer <laughs> lid in the top. That just sits perfectly on top like that so you can strain your vegetables and chicken bones or whatever through it. And then, of course, if you're like, well, what's that thing down there? I've attached that to a little trigger here. So you just press that and you will see it raise. See how that raises ever so slightly? So what's happening is that liquid will come out of the bottom. Let me just show it to you because seeing is believing. I'm going to just lift the lid and pop that in my lid rest. I'm going to pick up my little chicken stock here, right? So this is just a little broth that we've gone ahead and made. You can see the bones in there. You can see the... the by the way, if you ever buy a roast chicken from the store, yeah. always throw the bones into a little pan and then cover it with water. Now, like I mentioned before, that little lid, that little strainer lid lifts right off. But can you see what's happening? See how all the fat is rising to the top? 34 ounces, Bobby Ray. I'm sorry for being so slow oh, letting no, you know... Oh, no, no, that's great. How, I... how, what the <laughs> Capacities. 34 ounces. Now here's the little button. All you're going to do is press that button and watch this. The jus comes from the bottom. The oil, that fat that comes off the chicken while it's cooking stays in the top and stop. That oh. is that. This gets discarded. Of course, you're going to discard your bones. You've now got a perfect clean broth and that wow. is what's so wonderful. You can drop this back on the on the pan. By the way, our, our, uh, we have a six piece um, saucepan set which is really quite amazing. That's not all that it's for though, Bobby Ray. You can go ahead, watch this. By the way, if you haven't got one of these, you really need one. This is my lid rest. Mm -hmm. You take any steamy lid and drop it down. Now all that condensation's running down the front of that lid rest and not making a mess of my kitchen counter. In fact, it looks pretty and it does such a fantastic job. I put that to one side. Okay, so now let's say you've made a tomato soup. Maybe this is, some, this is an idea as summer's coming along. Maybe you want to make something like this for mum for Mother's Day or for Easter, you want to serve a little soup. Now, why am I pouring a soup in here? Because it's the perfect dispenser. Imagine serving little cups or little bowls. Oh, and yes. And you're pouring the exact right amount. See how it's not dripping? Really? So yes, So you can that's use brilliant. this as a batter dispenser. That's a great, that great idea. So you can just top it up. Yeah, I exactly. Done and that, then you chef. finish that with a little cream or a little parsley or dill. You I know, love and you've it. got this beautiful little way of serving a little soup, right? So that's a really nice way to do it. Um, I've even got it set up here for you, Bobby Ray, as a batter dispenser. So if I go ahead and on my pan right here, you see I've got a crepe batter set in there. You ready for this? You just pour in the perfect amount, and then you sit it down. Doesn't drip, by the way. Swivel nice. that around, and you're That'd off to the That'd be perfect for the waffle maker, crepes. also. And can I give them an update on the color, chef? Because the stone gray um, is definitely the most limited. How many do we have in the stone gray again? 500 in the stone gray. We have the red available for everyone. The black is going to be the second most limited as well. And then we have some in the hunter green. I love this gorgeous hunter green. This, I am telling you, this will, this, there are certain items that when I saw them for the first time, and this is one of my went, this is absolutely the most creative, genius item, Chef. And I love that you're showing us all kinds of additional ways to be able to use it. 
Oh, well, for sure. I mean, look at all the fat that's risen to the top. You can zoom in there and see that, that sort of greasy fat. That's not what you want. What you want is the broth underneath. So by pressing that button, it just takes the liquid out of the bottom of the pan. Because, of course, if we poured it, it would mix in with all of that oil. You pour all the way down until you get a visual on that oil, and you just stop. It is that simple. Now you're going to reduce that broth, that gorgeous stock. This is a very clear broth now. There's no oil floating in that, which is everything. Everything, it is such a game changer. Same deal when you're making your crepes or your pancakes, like you said, Bobby Ray, you can see I've got that beautiful crepe batter on the bottom. It really is just that perfect little thing. Very easy to clean, by the way. Yeah. The whole thing goes in the dishwasher. Very, very simple. And of course, that little um, incredible um, lid on the top. Oh, thanks, Gaz. I'll show you one that I don't have anything in for just a moment because here's what happens. That is your strainer lid, right? So that just comes off. Now, if you want to give it a deep clean, you can actually remove by just screwing that bowl out, right? This piece goes in the dishwasher. This piece, of course, goes in the dishwasher. And then when you want to put it back together, you just screw it like that, and then your strainer lid goes on, and you are Easy. ready to go. You will use this for Easter. It's a great little gift, but I tell you what, it comes into its own all year long. You'll be, every time you do a roast, every time you buy roast chicken from the chicken shop or, or from the supermarket, make sure you keep those bones, any skin, chuck it into a pan, cover it in water, let it boil for an hour. You just made your own chicken stock, you guys. Nice, nice. And at, for, at a price of $19.95, again, uh, the race is on. And, uh, and I was so thrilled that we were able to bring back more. So we had some actually for today. This is our last day. Chef has this show. We have one more show coming up later tonight. This is wrapping